The three candidates for the 2024 presidential election have yet to release white papers on their policies, but already their views on China and international affairs are prompting academic discussion. Vice President and DPP presidential nominee Lai Qingde recently got the ball rolling with a letter to the Wall Street Journal, which outlined the vice president's cross-strait policies. Let's hear what the analysts have to say. Speaking at a news conference Friday, one think tank researcher shared his analysis of the three main presidential candidates' cross-strait policies. The researcher argued that DPP candidate Vice President Lai Qingde, who recently wrote to the Wall Street Journal outlining his policies concerning China, had the clearest stance on the issue. Preserving the status quo will be at the core of Lai Qingde's cross-strait policy in the future. It's also a stance that puts the US and the international community most at ease. It's also a radically different approach from those of candidates Ke Wenzhe and Hou Youyi. When we look at Taiwan issues, breaking away from reunification and independence and turning towards internationalization represents a paradigm shift in Taiwan's security strategy. One researcher compared Lai with TPP candidate Ke Wenzhe, saying that Ke has only talked about restarting cross-strait trade talks, but has offered no concrete solutions on how to do that. The researcher said that KMT candidate Ho Youyi has discussed the 1992 consensus and the constitution, and has talked about reducing conscription to only four months, but added that Ho had spoken in a roundabout and contradictory way. Ho seems unprepared on defense issues, he said. He has said he wants to defend the Republic of China, but has also admitted that his 1992 consensus means that neither side recognizes the other's sovereignty. So how would he defend the sovereignty of the Republic of China? You can see that Ke is really hot in the polls right now, but his stance on China is rather ambiguous. He seems to have forgotten his stance previously during the Sunflower Movement. Most recently, following the backlash against his trade comments, he hasn't made any further comments on the issue. To date, none of the candidates have issued a white paper on their policies. Lai has chosen to discuss key issues first and is expected to travel overseas next. That trip would take him to Paraguay with a transit in the U.S., which has garnered the attention of observers. Banquets with the overseas community and meetings with our U.S. representative Xiaobi Kim are sure to garner the attention of people in Taiwan and the international community. When will Hou Youyi go? On the issue of conscription, he had said he'd reduce it to only four months if elected, and then later changed his mind. He was worried that if he visited the U.S. and was asked about the issue there, he wouldn't know what to say. There are still calls to switch Ho in the pro-China camp, and there are many other variables in a three-way presidential race. The three candidates' international policies, however, have already become a battleground in their campaigns.